It's Operation Babble with Mike Shrews. It's pop culture, music, movies, TV too. It's time to explore life. It's Operation Babble time. Now this is podcasting. Did you guys get it as a Phantom Menace joke? No. 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 Pod racing's cool, man. So what's up, guys? Uh, like, I am. Just, did you just assume my gender? Yes, your gender. I assumed okay. it. It's male. Check you your privilege, it. sir. At the um, door, please. So I'm in a remote location today. <gasps> so cryptic. Are you even are though you in, hiding in the green screen? This message will I'm literally touching the wall right here. <laughs> Not figuratively? <laughs> no. All right, so... Can I grab something off one of those shelves? Right. <laughs> I can't reach. There we go. Okay. Um, He's in the future. So if I have to dip out here and there, uh, I will do that. But I will try and... I think I got everything situated um, where I'm at. So we should be good. Audio should be shitty-ish-er. Because I'm not using a mixer today, and it had been pretty decent the last few episodes, so that's cool. Wow, brag um, about it. Also, <laughs> welcome everybody back, I guess, to the podcast, because we took a week hiatus and decided this is season two. Oh. So, we, we're doing seasons now? Season two now, yeah, I guess so. I, you can see my I, face now. <laughs> and we can see Tibbis. It's, it's yes, people. This is Tibbis. If you're watching the video, welcome to Tibbis. Finally, it's kind of like a mix of me and Mike. I've noticed <laughs> just a little bit. Everybody's trying to grow in the beard. Yeah. Oh no, this Lost is gonna it. go soon. I hate uh, that. You did. You did. You don't like the. You don't like the COVID beard. God no! I don't know <laughs> how people. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Did you Man. guys see the video that Jack Black did of him shaving his yeah. beard and all of his hair off? Just like Ooh. cut it all off. When's uh when's he gonna have to change his last name because that's cultural appropriation? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's I was I made that I made a joke similar to that. Do you think that's uh, his real last name, like his born name? Ooh, or do that's you think a good that's his stage name? I don't know. I know. And there we go with the Google know, already. Be, <laughs> under five minutes. We're going to have to start <laughs> clocking that in for the sake of lore. Yeah, um, apparently. Real name, yeah. surname. Awesome. Yeah, Thomas Black. Because I was thinking about. Yeah. Why Thomas? What? Why the hell? What's his middle name? Jake. Wayne. Wayne. Is that why he goes by Jack? Weird. Um, <laughs> no, I've made, I've made a stupid joke like that when Shark Week was going because they were doing a big. Uh, uh, well, you know how they do. They do like a great white uh, yeah, yeah. documentary usually every year or something like that. And I'm like, oh man, when are we, when are we gonna have to change the name? <laughs> white shark? Oh no, fishy privilege. Not good. Who hosted that this year? Did they have a host? They had like uh, multiples, I'll, I think. All I remember is that Mike Tyson trained to like fight a shark or something. That was the like, only promotional this stuff year. I remember. Yeah. That wow. was the only. That was okay. the only promotional stuff I remember. Josh Gates. Josh Gates hosted. Okay, I like him. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know who that is. <laughs> he, uh, he, ho- he used to do. Uh, he hosted the live Ghost Hunters uh, back when they used to do those, and he did a bunch of other, you know, like uh, cryptic looking for creatures or oh, ghosts funny. and stuff. He, and now he does a show where he goes around. Uh, he looks like maybe- Indiana Jones. Yeah, he goes and looks like interesting, play, like historic places and stuff. God, do you guys remember? You guys remember? <laughs> what, what, was it Ghost Hunters or Ghost Adventures who did like the like eight hour stream on Halloween night, like over Ghost Hunters? That's the Ghost Hunters. Mm. I remember watching that one time because when because like I always liked uh, the editing and stuff on it. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know how much I believe, but I'm I am the guy like. He he's very gullible when they do the evidence from time to time, and yeah. like ghost stories freak me out. Like I've always wanted to go on a ghost tour. I've just never done it. I really wish I would. But um, so were you a fan of like the show Fear before Fear Factor? There was just Fear 
where they that had, was the like, one with they had like the stupid face cam yeah, that yeah, movies yeah. should from now on never do again uh, yeah. where the camera's like right in their face it was basically like the blair witch but like reality yeah. tv yeah yeah i watched a little bit of that um that one i didn't like as much because it just felt hyperbolic and kind of stupid <laughs> But uh, when it comes to the, because at least with like ghost hunters and ghost adventures, you at least get history too. Um, it's kind of like why I liked uh, an American haunting as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they would do like reenactments or like they would give you history on the place that they were visiting and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I at least felt like I was learning something while I was watching a silly show. Yeah. Um, God, uh, they I gave remember you actual... when they didn't they give you like actual like facts though not just like oh yeah scary we're talking story like, or whatever yeah yeah because you would get the actual history on it like when the building right. was made and blah 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 and who lived there but then they would tell you this the creepy story and that's yeah, the stuff that's yeah. set up for like the the bullshit editing that's, and- <laughs> that's kind of what like fear did I, I, they they would give you like somewhat of a historical accuracy on the yeah. location or the prison the prison the house the psych ward whatever the hell they were going to and then they would um then they, when they were inside the building, finally, that's when they would start telling them yeah. all the stupid, crazy stuff. Just, like just to freak them out. Dr. Kevorkian bit. used to cut his patients up in the basement here or some shit. And he'd eat it with a side of fava beans. Um, <laughs> I loved when Ghost Hunter, they did, the, especially those first early uh, live Halloween ones, they had crossovers with uh, mm. ECW. They had CM Punk and Elijah Burke. Uh, that was a fear really factor. Stuff. Or oh, ghost hunters, ghost hunters. Okay, I know Fear Factor did a lot of that shit, but it was like basically making them eat dumb stuff. Like, here's a plate full of worms, and like, yeah. come on, guys, like we're better than this. The Dave, the Dave Chappelle spoof when he uh, plays Tyrone Biggums is like one of my favorite things ever. Because like Fear Factor yeah. is like an outdated joke now, essentially, <laughs> and like. My feet are strong. <laughs> they like have them, like, well, Wasn't that Joe stuff. Rogan that did Fear Factor? <laughs> yes, it was. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, it sure was. That's how long until they? How long until they bring it back? Uh, I think they've already tried once. They did that. I believe yeah. so. Yeah. Because um, I know they brought back uh, Hollywood Squares, but it's yep. uh, exclusive to Love and Hip Hop. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, that absolutely makes sense for the channel. Mm. Um. Because when I think like things like BET, I always thought Hollywood Squares, you know, Family Feud. Well, okay, yeah. that's untrue. I, I could go with Family Feud because I like Steve Harvey. <laughs> so oh, they, they, Fear Factor went for six seasons and then they revived it for one, no, one series, no, one season, but two MTV series. And then sure. it was revived again for nine. Oh, okay. That's weird. No wait, revived for six, revived for seven, eight, and then revived for nine. So it's been revived multiple times, apparently. I'm like, uh, at that <laughs> point, is it is it really reviving or just doing another season? Just at that coming point? back like a yeah. couple of years later. Let's see. It was uh, the original series was the 2001, the 2006, then 2011, the 2012, then 2017, the 2018. So it's yeah. about that time. Yeah, and it was like NBC and then MTV, and then MTV always like waits years sometimes between putting seasons out. So I wouldn't even say that that's a revival. That's just a continuation. Well, but, anyway, yeah. long, long, anyways, <laughs> long, long bloated story later. Yeah. Uh, that got us all on a billion tangents. Uh, I remember when they had they announced the uh, the overnight episode and it was like it was like you know live streamed on the channel like they took over sci-fi pretty much oh, right. for the night and uh, i remember being like super pumped i'm like i'm gonna stay up this year i took the day off the day after just like so stay up the whole time and i go wow with all the crazy editing and music and like all the you know quick quick cuts and stuff i'm just like this is boring as fuck <laughs> and i and i remember after i was done i never went back and watched another episode it like oh. It pulled the curtain away, and it just made me realize I'm like, oh man, I'm just getting bamboozled by by the editing and sound effects. Uh, I used to dude, the Halloween live show used to be what I lived for. I remember yeah. one year we ran out of candy, like literally, think one piece left okay. after a group of kids came to the door. I was so relieved because I did not want to turn away kids. <laughs> I immediately 
shut that light off, locked the door, and sat down to watch. <laughs> yeah. Nice. At least, like, and, and the best part was, is like, because uh, usually I'd have to work for a little bit or something that night, or I would, like you said, like, we'd be giving out candy or whatever at the house, or I'd just go to a party or something. Thank God we had DVR by then. Like, <laughs> Cause then I could <laughs> at least start it in and I could fast forward through the commercials for like the first, like three hours. Yeah. yeah. That was always nice. But then usually I'd catch up somewhere around like 1am and then I, I, <laughs> DVR. We never had DVR growing up. I, yeah. You never TV'd. I just, we had a fucking VCR. We just recorded the shit. Just, old school style. <laughs> well, yeah. Good luck recording on VHS, a freaking like 10 hour show. You can you you just it'll just be really crappy. Yeah, yeah. When you have to change it down to the SLP. Thanks, mom. Yep. <laughs> God, if I'd have known that. Oof. Like a lot of people think the max you can get out of those is like six hours, but no, you can go to eight, like, and but you can really go to twelve if you really want to. If you go to twelve, you're a monster. <laughs> if you go eight, to twelve, you might as well eight. be watching something from the fifties. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with long play. Yeah. You don't need slow long play. It's insane. <laughs> Especially if you have like a good theme song, like the music just gets obliterated. There's, there's super slow long play. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, SSLP. Well, I believe sorry. that's I guess what I, it is. I guess I wasn't rich enough to unlock that perk. Sorry. <laughs> you I mean lazy to go... enough to to not afford another uh tape so you had to keep recording yeah. until, like... i had to i had to i had to defeat a bunch more beta maxes so i could get the xp to unlock sslp and it just never happened accidentally mm-hmm. evolved the laser disc no, i i wasn't strong enough for apparently sslp just means sit still look pretty <laughs> i hate you what a <laughs> Fuck that song. I'm so sick of hearing that or, song. <laughs> or it may it means the slim shady LP. So there you yeah, go. Well look at you. <laughs> By complete accident, we got a freaking Eminem reference. I hate I hate season uh, two already. <laughs> can we <laughs> can we be canceled? Dun, 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 dun. Can you re- can you replace me with the drug addict that lives in their van? <laughs> Down by the river. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I understood hey. the reference. We gotta kill one of us off by season three, right? Is that that's oh. how it goes? Netflix rules. Is that why I cut it? <laughs> then, bring, then bring my doppelganger from another infinitism over. At end of season two of Operation Babel. The twist is me and John are cannibals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim is gone. I've, I've actually been wearing a. I've been wearing a meat face. Yeah. It looks like it. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, I'm using a blanket for, for the non-visual people. I'm using a blanket so I don't like get sunburnt by this fucking light next to my face. Oh, my God. Power Rangers. It's Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, bro. Never heard of them. And look at that. I did the woke thing. I got the female and the black ranger right in there. Uh, I don't know if you're being racist or sexist, but either way, I'm offended. Good. You should be. All right. Anyway, is your story over? Is your story over, John? Did we rant enough about it? What? Is your story over? Well, yeah. You said you I, wanted to finish up. I did. Okay. Okay. I don't remember how we got there. But I don't like, either. <laughs> it was a very clear finish line. I feel like I feel like I'm not being paid attention to, and now I'm now I'm double offended. <laughs> I mean, I love ghost hunter so i'll talk about it. i mean i i never watch ghost hunter i i probably watch clips on youtube or some bullshit but never actually watched it they we have a bunch of around. like the the ghost hunting and ghost tour people in the vicinity in florida there's just a shitload of them anyways because yeah. they can work year round and not freeze their ass off yeah. um saint augustine's like saint really augustine's well got a big big community of it for sure um as you've yet as many times as i've gone there i've yet to do one of their like ghost tours or some shit we've done their christmas light tours though so anyways what's anyways, been up go. tivis <laughs> we'll go to you <laughs> so you get really bad but you didn't do it on purpose you totally <laughs> did not do that on purpose <laughs> so genuine <sighs> 
That was the first genuine anyways, guys, of the, right. uh, of the season two. Yay, the lore is strong. Okay. Ah. Uh, wait, you Dennis, really go. Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you got for me today, bro? Oh, look at that. I, He's like telling you to bring him the show. No. Well, I mean, I don't know if you guys I mean, heard, just... but there was a little tiny event over the weekend. It was a tiny it. event over the weekend. Yeah. Hmm. Some was it the Super Bowl? Rib Fest. Uh, it's close, close. R- was rib it? Fest. I like ribs. Rib Fest? Uh, 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 did, the NBA, did the NBA start playing again? Golf yeah, tournament? No, nobody's watching that. Mm. Sports ball? Mm. I, don't, I don't know what big event happened this past weekend. Or big events, uh, I should say. Mm. So, <laughs> what what happened? I'm oblivious to everything. Well, <laughs> I'm so bad, man. You're just like, you're stretching out the joke. That's not just, even a joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I could have given even... you, I could have given you a 200 acre mile landing zone and that joke would have <laughs> not landed. It's terrible. Tim, would you like to save us from this horrible, horrible hellscape that Michael is just. Yeah, playing? sure. Uh, WWE went to the Thunderdome. I knew it. Thunderdome. They ripped that off from uh, Mad Max, just by the way. Oh yeah, they did. Okay, so this is a cool thing. Um, I didn't watch. I didn't watch. No, no, no. It's it's cool in a in a uh, meta way, um, I guess, because Thunderdome. They did it for SummerSlam. Is that correct? Uh, That's what I thought, but I guess it debuted on Friday with SmackDown. With SmackDown. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, Because Vince McMahon came out and was, like, showing off all the shit. So what Thunderdome is, WWE Thunderdome, for people that don't know, uh, WWE brokered a deal with the Amway Center, I believe it is. I think so. Um, And because they were getting bored of utilizing the training facility and shit like that in Orlando. So they brokered the Amway and they basically turned it into what I said they should have fucking done the first time yeah, right. that they went and did a show without an audience. And they ended up putting a bunch of screens in the stadium. Um, oh, yeah. Which people were able to basically Zoom conversation in. I don't know exactly how they do it, but they Zoom in and they're the live audience watching on the screen still um as of right now if you can't see my face i'm highly yeah. unimpressed it it <laughs> I, it's it's i did say that they should have done that from the start so seeing it, them do it is cool but it still it looks really it, awesome it it does look kind of awesome but it doesn't at the same time. I mean, it has time. to look better than like what the what it, soccer it, was doing, where they, they were putting like cardboard cutouts of people it, in the stands. It looks better than that nothing. Just, I will say that. that. A, yeah. I don't it, know. It, but it doesn't really help the sound. Right. Right. <laughs> the, you don't the, get that same audience still feel. Not there. They're using, I believe they're using video the video game crowd noise now. <laughs> 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 That's funny. I did watch some clips of it. I, I watched some clips of of I think it was SummerSlam where they had it at because it were yeah. it were flat uh, like uh, snippets of SummerSlam. So I watched that on YouTube just to see like what the feel of it would be like. It it was okay. Um, definitely not what I pictured in my head when I said it months ago that they should do. Um, so that was interesting. But Tivis has their rules, don't you? You said they have a bunch well, of I, rules for that. Guys, I, I, I literally was just sitting here for a second. And yeah. I was like, I wonder why they called it SummerSlam. And uh, I'm really upset with myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest party of the summer. It, well, because, uh, because of COVID, it didn't feel like, uh, like right. a normal run into summer. It was really right, strange. Right. Can, uh, can I also say they call it Thunderdome now? But they've never once had a pay-per-view called Thunderdome. Isn't that fucking crazy? Like, yeah. I feel that they should have had a pay-per-view already sometime in their history called Thunderdome. They, they brought back payback for this weekend because for some reason they want to do 
a back to back pay per view. Yeah. Uh, well, they need that they, money. <laughs> they should have just did Thunderdome. That would have been an awesome name to continue forward. Yeah. But, you know. That should just be its own show. It should just be its own show. WWE Thunderdome, and that's where they do that that's event. That's pretty at. similar to the WCW uh, B show. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Wait. Is it actually? No, it's not. Mm-mm. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so, you know, with all these screens, it comes the potential. And I, I was even talking this about my wife. I'm like, how are they going to prevent, you know, someone from just whipping out Porn. the junk on screen? Porn! Yeah. yeah. Yes. They have very strict regulations. Like, you have to be, like, basically like wow. this. You, It has to be your face and your possibly torso area. Um but you're not supposed to have so much above you or beside you and all that stuff. So if it'll you, be perfect framing for my junk when I stand up. Right. Wait. If you, you do so. anything, they're they're I'm I'm assuming they're on like a five minute delay. So they cut you if you yeah. do anything stupid. You're not allowed to wear um other companies merch. You're not allowed to wear your own company. Like I thought no, about it. I was like, Oh, I could go on there with an Operation Babel shirt and <laughs> do that. But you're not allowed to do that. They specifically so. see, well, first of all, they, uh, they make you sign a ton of waivers yep. beforehand. Uh, and, you know, they got on before the show, so they got to hear a bit of the testing uh, on SmackDown. And they're like, you know, if these things happen, get ready to dump them immediately. So they have people watching like, like Hawks. And, yeah. But along the mis- a list of things that you can be fined for or that get kicked off, it includes mm-hmm. wearing an AEW shirt. I don't know if I'm, they will actually they, force that. Well, they, uh, I'm wife, sure but. they would because they probably have a list of other people that they can just bring in whenever. But they actually have regulations kind of set forth like that when you go to their live events anyways. Um, yeah. Where I mean, you can't you wear, wear certain uh, things and shit orange like that. Cassidy shirt, you're getting yeah. kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that show was WCW Thunder, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That was their like Thursday night show, I think it was. I don't because they had Monday night Nitro to compete against Raw on Thursday Thunder for SmackDown. Probably at that time. Yeah, because Eric Bischoff and and uh, the other dude were just they they wanted the Saturday morning ones that nobody cared about, which was essentially just replay clips (laughs) and like two matches. Sunday night heat. That was Sunday night. No, there was a there was there was a WCW Saturday morning thing. One. Yeah, yeah. There was oh, a Saturday morning was... thing where they like recapped like oh, yeah. Raw and and Thursday. Uh, mm-hmm. Saturday night main event, maybe. I think that's yeah, that's probably. Right. Um, I know they had Sunday night heat, and then that would always go into the pay per views on Sundays when they had a pay per view, which was always cool. But yeah, so Thunderdome people. I feel I like we're like... throwing the word cool around a lot very loosely. <laughs> you mean Words like mean... Mike's shirt? <laughs> uh, see. Oh, man. Another visual <laughs> gag. Here we go. Well, for bringing it up, Michael, talk about... <laughs> talk about what? My shirt? You sure? All right. Robat, bat, and bat, and bat, and bats, and bat, and bats. It's Robat Battenson, I believe. It says Robat, bat, and bat. Is that really what it is? Bat and bat? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it that said Battenson. Name, that is the name we're sticking to. <laughs> Robat Bat and Bat. Oh, Robat gosh. Bat and Bat. Um and, and I've already declared there's a patent verse out there as well, people. Um, because I found a picture uh shared by <laughs> um Austin Mosier. It, it was a bunch of different the uh things of robert pattinson from his different austin. roles austin why'd you do this why'd you do this why have <laughs> you done this to I me i instantly looked at it and i was like oh it's the patent verse <laughs> i hate it but that was I like hate... oh it's the patent verse i'm so, patent <laughs> why do you say it like that i don't get it i just want to apologize to the one person who said we uh we talked too much about dc i tried to look up your name but my itunes app keeps crashing on me Ooh, who, who said we talk about DC a lot? It was in the uh, iTunes reviews. What? Uh, yeah, I might have to DC's look the only thing up. doing anything. At I think they point. might have specifically <laughs> said Arrowverse, but oh, okay, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We never shut the hell up about the CW, but that was when uh, we were that pretty much was gearing up. The f- well, and we were also getting uh, you were getting ready for the final season of um, 
Arrow and shit. Yeah, yeah. Arrow yeah. was finishing up. Batwoman was Batwoman. showing up, and then yep. Crisis on Infinitism. Yep. Before we go on, the CW. Real quick, little side tip. Did you hear about the Powerpuff Girls CW show? <laughs> That's not really a side tidbit. That's like part of the CW. Did they talk. announce that at? No, I don't know, but it's they all went, over the place. They wouldn't announce that at fandom if that's what you're talking about they need to not do that <laughs> well it's, they did have a crossover with teen titans go yeah they they want to do like a live action one and I, the synopsis sounds so stupid i, mean, I didn't just read do anything about it but i would love to see their villain in live they're, action they're essential they're yeah good good Fuzzy luck Lumpkin? with him no him um oh yeah yeah good luck with him literally him that's the devil uh mojo jojo I mean, Mojo Jojo, you could get away with, and would probably yeah. look pretty cool. Um, Are you kidding? That's who the, the the that that is what the spoiler was at the end of Crisis. That was Mojo Jojo right there. That wasn't the other monkey from the Super Friends. That was yeah, that was Super Friends. Uh, the easiest villain to get Steve away with. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Like that's Captain Marvel's like weird. No. Are you talking no. about? At the Rod. end of Crisis, they oh, showed the monkey oh. that escaped. Well, they didn't show Man. him, but they showed uh, his cage. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget his name. But Leak. Th- Leak, yeah. yeah. He's just going to turn into Mojo Jojo. Like, <laughs> uh, they're, they're saying the synopsis is essentially it, they're like teen, like high school teen, because I'm assuming they're going to try and Riverdale it up. Probably. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be over over sexualized and over. Well, no, they're everything. like they're like I guess they're like dealing with the fact that they feel disenfranchised because they feel like they lost their childhood from crime fighting, and I go, um, this is what the the, the whole point. It's kind of like the Simpsons is why they don't age or like the Rugrats don't age, and then they did an age one and. Even though it wasn't terrible, it's like just don't do that. <laughs> like, leave them alone. If anyone wants an actual, like, who knows? This might surprise us, and I mean, it's CW, but <laughs> it won't, dude. Because uh, all if, it's gonna do is make it's gonna make the cartoon creepy. Like, that's what it's gonna do. If any, there's a really good uh, version, kind of, of this idea out there where they actually take other Cartoon Network characters and Nickelodeon characters and mash them together. It's by this uh, small group called Snafu. They self-publish online. I cannot recommend it enough. Hmm. Can I I say something? And and it might become off sexist, but I would rather there be a Dexter's Laboratory show before Powderpuff show live action. Powderpuff? (laughs) Powderpuff. Powderpuff. Everyone knows what I meant. Yeah, did we though? Yes, I was thinking of I some do cereal. If this is going to open the door to the, that possibility, though, down the line, because I mean, no. we're, Riverdale has like, a, but we don't need that. Level. They need to just create something new and original. I'm just saying. Well, the whole no point is, is they forget. That. Like, it's hard to do a lot of these animated things live because it's the kookiness that really works like a perfect example is we've tried multiple times with inspector gadget but that feels like one you could actually do because we've had things like um the idea of a guy with a bunch of like mechanics and he's a detective kind of thing it's like you could work with that premise Mm because detective stuff it's kind of like why i like i zombie worked because you had a serial thing that you could work and even with i zombie they they completely altered how that whole thing went which was yeah. good which is what they need to try and do more often with some tv yeah you know but like but like i'm saying is is like if you you it's kind of this weird thing like oh god i'm gonna sorry everyone uh i watched my little pony <laughs> a bit yeah um i actually didn't hate it i actually liked like the first two seasons or whatever and uh but then they made like the the equestria girls or something where they like went through like some magic mirror and turned into high school girls I never mm. watched it because I'm like, oh, now you've like made it creepy. Yeah. Like it's not fun anymore because it's like, it's not whimsical and kind of cute. Now it's like, oh, now I feel like a pervert. <laughs> like I don't like it. And and I feel like when you make this show, when you go back and watch the cartoon, you're going to think of these like, you're going to think of the angsty teens now. You're like, oh, that's what they become. Ugh. <laughs> and it's just gonna be creepy and weird like i just yeah. it seems strange didn't they do an like, older oh, how to do that to a character didn't they do an older version of them already in cartoon form though 
I had no. There was. Let's see. They had the original. There was a Japanese a anime that... which went off the rails. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it was Powerpuff Z. Yeah. That's it. That yeah. And then this remake. I don't. I swore there was a Powerpuff like teenage version of them. Um. Probably on Rule Thirty Four. You weirdo. <laughs> oh, maybe it was just an oh, episode. Okay. I, uh... Uh yeah, I can't. Yeah, I'd no, say. it was just those. I just yeah. think it's a terrible idea. Uh, and like you said, Dexter's laboratory. I already got that. It was called Dexter. And um, <laughs> uh, okay, that's a weird take on Dexter, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You know, you've heard that joke before too. Funny uh, Bravo. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> well. And see, that's another one where I'm like, I think you could get away with Johnny Bravo because it's still within the realm of personalities. All it is is it's just a dude who's kind of an idiot just going around. That would make a better movie than like a live action show. Like I think you could play with that because that premise gets old really fast. It's just the kookiness of the cartoon is what makes it fun. Because like, imagine like The Rock doing that like in the style of that crappy Dora the Explorer live action. Like it could Fuck be you. Fun. That was such a good movie. Fuck oh you. God. Oh my God. I, the only thing that went through my mind was fear for my favorite Cartoon Network show, Ed and Nettie. I'm like, Oh God, please don't touch that. See, that would be creepy too. Like, That's I'm like dumb like, and dumber just without one of the people. Though. Pretty much. <laughs> Cause like Dennis the Menace didn't quite work. I don't know why, but it didn't quite work. God, I'm waiting for like a Peanuts live action and I'm going to hate it. I'm like, how are you going to find a Charlie Brown lookalike? <laughs> Shock, there hasn't been one. Right. They, they've done the... The claymation, right? It was, like, it was like that 3D animated oh. movie or whatever. It was called Peanuts. Yeah. I just, I think it's a bad idea. Just stay away from it. And CW like does this weird, like, cause you'd be better off doing like a Scooby-Doo in the, ver- like in the verse of like the Riverdale show that they did or Riverdale. I said Riverdale. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Riverdale. Lord of the Rings on the mind. But Riverdale you know, got really bad, really fast. Like yeah. really bad, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think with Scooby-Doo, you, you go the route of, the 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 tone i guess of that and sabrina riverdale and sabrina on netflix oh, yeah. um and put it on netflix don't fucking put that shit on cw i'm just saying oh, you'd have no, a wait they're a, the, they're wb huh yeah. yeah i'm just saying you'd have a better chance with that because like the age makes more sense you could put it right. in high school or college if you wanted um or even put like you know have daphne be the smartest one but she's still in high school and all the other ones are in college or something like Has that you there- know what i mean has there been yeah. any payoff for Riverdale and Sabrina being in the same universe yet? No. I have no not that, that, so. not well, that uh, I paid attention to. I stopped watching Riverdale. Um, no. And Sabrina, I didn't watch the second season, so I don't know. Has um, anyone tried the new spinoff from uh, that Archie? One? There's a spin. God damn it. Which one? What else did they do? Jarhead. I know they're just doing like their dark universe version of the Archie comics. That's all they're doing. Uh, Kate, Katie Keene is the new show. Uh, Katie Keene? Yeah, it started How in woman? February. Keene. Uh, Keene? Yeah. Oh. Nope. Keen. I don't know. Someone only we know. Uh, Wasn't that the name of that stupid band? Anyway. There's there's and so oh, many good characters that they could do in the dark universe type thing if they really wanted to, um, but really name three. Ninja Turtles. Huh. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> three of them. Give me three dark universe movies. Of <laughs> I mean, Turtles. to be fair, we are getting like three Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, we no. are. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, and I guarantee you, Bat all Flex three of them, in. they're all three going to be in the movie theater at least one year at the same time. I mean, I'm not complaining because <laughs> I'll be honest. You will if it sucks. DC looks like they got their <laughs> shit together. <laughs> oh, sorry. What? I just love that. Like, because you said, like, we talk about the CW, which I, or 
the CW, I get. It's like you talk a lot about DC. It's like, well, right now they're the only That's, people making yeah. anything. Not only that, they're the only ones that are talking about anything too. That so, is also true. Freaking, there Disney was is a, a couple fire. Marvel news that got covered up by fandom. If you want to, that's that because up. it wasn't important. Yeah. <laughs> um, fandom happened this weekend as well. Which, yeah, what a stupid name! Wait, oh that happened God. on that happened Saturday. So yeah. fandom Saturday. Fandom. Fandom. Spell it with me. F A N D O. What is it with everybody in the damn domes? <laughs> Thunderdome, Fandome, Chrome Dome. Dome. Oh, shout out Polly to Polly Shore. Shore. <laughs> I love Polly Shore. Jack, I think Jack Black's in that movie too. He is. I well, he shows bo- both of them. Really? Second, for like T- a Tenacious D are yeah. the ones that are playing the music there at oh, the wow. park. Yeah. Him Full circle, dude. D- How does it happen? I don't right, know. Right. <laughs> <sighs> Somebody needs to quit writing the script so good for season two already. I mean, where do we go from here I, I'll, I there wasn't a single thing at this event that did not pique my interest in some way and Tivis. i'm not even looking forward to the snyder cut did you watch the whole event no just the trailers I, oh uh, see then you can't say the whole of there wasn't a thing at the event that didn't pique your interest well i clearly, read up on the comic right, do you news, need to be but, do you need to be so facetious michael yes do you because clearly like I, if you didn't watch the whole event then not everything piqued your interest just saying how dare you? I'm, I'm the new John this season. Are we really going to go into uh, John Ridley's Batman miniseries coming out soon? What? Uh, who now? Oh, the comic, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. No. I don't know. I'm, I don't know or I'm, the new Sandman update? I'm surprised. So with me and the fandom, I was surprised that they did the massive layoffs before fandom. Like, they oh, should have waited. I feel they should have waited. Um, it's becoming an annual event with Warner Media, though. Well, AT and T's coming in and they're cleaning up shop. That's basically what's going down with that. Like, they're knocking everything out. So, we'll see how that works out. Fandom. I'm gonna say it ten more times for John. This podcast, at least. Ooh, throws popcorn. <laughs> so, you guys watch the trailers then, uh, at least, right? I watched all of them this morning so that I'd, it would be fresh in the mind. I don't know what uh, all one? trailers dropped. I watched which? only a couple. Well, since we're already getting Tiv- – since Tivis is already getting the uh, Snyder cult mad by saying he wasn't even that excited for it, um, let's, uh, mm. let's, get, let's, let's get that terrible uh, grenade out of here. Well, I was going to um, ask, which, which trailer stuck out to you? Or the one well, you let's just go through them all. Okay, and then we'll, okay, and then fun, we'll decide fun. which one we think. Let's go through them in alphabetical order. I don't know how to read. <laughs> um, uh, wait, oh, hang on. Are we, are we counting the or that? <laughs> we never count and, the. And, and do numbers come before letters? Um, <laughs> so I figure we'll start with the, the Snyder Cut because that's yeah. usually the biggest talk about going into it. I don't know if it's the biggest mm-hmm. talked about afterwards, but... Uh, can I can I sign can I make a, posi- a petition? Zack Snyder is no longer allowed to use the song "Hallelujah" in any way, shape, form, or capacity <laughs> no ever one. the hell again, please. Aside from the fact that I think the trailer is absolute just doo doo, um, it brought back PTSD of of Owl Man and Silk Spectre banging in his ship to the song hallelujah it was one of the most uncomfortable hottest things i've ever seen in my life i i hated it and uh it was awful and then you have a justice league trailer with all this crazy over-the-top cgi nonsense with a slow version of hallelujah playing in the background it was extremely awkward to watch but if you turn the audio off it's actually pretty good because there's no dialogue until the very end. And then uh, you get to see the complete difference in like uh, tone. And oh my God, there is so much footage <laughs> that you have never seen in this in this uh, trailer. It's crazy. It's a completely different movie. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a completely different movie. I, oh, yeah. I am still, um, I'm still upset that they put the scene in there of <laughs> Cyborg's dad getting killed. I was yeah, like, was man, why did you put that in the trailer? 
And they used the exact same stinking special effect as when uh, Rorschach died. You know, I just uh, I saw this morning a 2009 uh, interview with uh, Leonard Cohen asking people to stop using his song and stuff. Ugh, it's awful. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, no, it, uh, I actually just found out, because I was under the, that uh, apparently uh, lie that only 50% of Justice League was redone. And it was like 90% by the time they finished all the reshoots and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they, they said it's a, it was a, Joss Whedon had made that a completely different film. And it shows. Which, which, <laughs> it showed. I mean, everyone who gets mad that Joss Whedon did that, there's a reason the executives brought on someone with a very opposite view from the original director. Oh, yeah. They wanted him to do that. So don't get mad yep. at him. Yep. The executives wanted it to, to go that way. Like, nobody was making a good film out of that situation. It just I mean, wasn't get mad at anybody. Mad we can get mad at anybody we want. You can't tell I don't me like who the Wonder Woman oh, crap that went down with Flash, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah, Flash no, is a I pansy in that like, Justice geez. League movie. Just so we're clear, and he know, looks like he's going to be a little be better cooler in now. this new one. He saved Iris while he was barefoot. Yeah, that's not going to annoy that. me or anything. <laughs> he better have bloody feet, or I'm going to get mad. He heals super fast. I Remember? don't care. You still, you still get. You still get it. Ugh. You still get it. Yeah. You still get cuts and stuff. I'm still curious how they plan to pull off this four. Hour, like, is it going to be dropped at all at once, separately? No, they're they doing. Gonna... They're doing four one hour. Uh, that way, they get you for one whole month. Which I, but... is so stupid. <laughs> it's so, so dumb. Weird. I'm so curious how they're going to break it up. Like, are they going to alter it? So it ends on like a cliffhanger each time an ending kind of thing, or are they just stopping it? He probably I feel like- has it in like chunks, like, like a normal movie would be. Yeah. If you've ever watched his movie movies, is- like Watchmen, you could break Watchmen up into like two or, or three parts. Or just like when you watch like Lord of the Rings and you have yeah. to put in like the next disc, it's just like a fade to black. Like it's like right. pretty much if you, would just put the two like make the fade to black just a little bit shorter you could just tape the two movies together yeah. and it'd be fine yeah. um, it'd be like next time on Zack Snyder's pod, uh, it, uh, it, it, thing whatever the fuck the movie's good, called good Justice job. League you nailed it good job Mike um you're just you're batting a thousand um uh, <laughs> I'm out of it today <laughs> um I it's I think it's a stupid idea I would have at least been down for two like two hour parts like that would have at least felt more um sustainable but i just you, you know what they're doing with the four it's really lame and i hate shit like that um and also at this at the same time you're you know when you're try, when you're trying to do a tv show alone uh like i think mandalorian suffered with this for a lot of people was that watching it week to week you digested it a lot more and then when you're already kind of scrutinizing that brand you're going to pick it apart. And when you have a whole week to do it, it's kind of like, ah, oh, do I really even care to watch the next episode? Eh, no, I'm good. Cause like me, I fell, I fell out at five uh, episode five of Mandalorian. If they would have just dropped out eight, I would have just finished it. Um, yeah. I'm afraid I'm really worried that cutting a movie into four parts and forcing you to watch it in four parts. It's like, you're going to scrutinize just that one part of the film. Right. So you're not going to get away with anything like narratively or like plot hole wise. You're going to get away with a lot less. Especially with all the people that are looking to tear the film apart. Exactly. Because there and are, even with the, the other ones we'll talk about, there's going to be tons of people always looking to tear this thing apart yes. because of what they've gotten already from the mm-hmm. franchise. And or they, that's, yeah, that's the like detriment to the film. That's yeah. going to be the main detriment, but especially not dropping it all at once. It's like they should have done, dumb. they should have done what they did then, or they should do, I should, should say, cause they haven't done anything yet. Um, they should do what uh, Tarantino did with that, that hateful eight, I think it is movie mm-hmm. where he dropped it all at once. But then on Netflix, they cut it into sections so you can watch it as a mini series. If you would like, mm. 
So give just, the people the option to watch it all at once or, you know, watch well, the whole uh, like, yeah, piece by piece. Like I said, this is something really new. This is unheard of. This mm-hmm. is some new territory and it could really shape the way that uh, movies and distribution and, and yeah. quote unquote edits happen moving forward. Like how much freedom is the, the original creator going to get versus uh, studios making I, calls? I think I would rather see this in fucking theaters though i don't want to watch it on my tv for There's the first time well, but uh, see i'm talking but i'm talking more about just taking in the story and the, yeah, and, yeah, the yeah. and the narrative because what's happening here is we've already seen a cut that's not going to look anything like this like right. it's going to be 100 almost 100 percent different even mm. the scenes you you'll know you'll recognize yeah. they're still gonna be completely the context going into them is gonna be different too uh context aesthetic lighting yeah. color palette probably even voice acting and stuff might be different yeah. we don't know because he'll put like he'll you know make different edits to the dialogue and things like that and yeah um when you give us a chance to analyze your film hour by hour you are asking us to pick this thing apart uh, without you even doing it. Like we're going to do it subconsciously, even like people yeah. who don't even care. I'm sure um, if it was up to him, it would be all out at once. But of I've, course, and again, and again, it was I'd probably part of his deal, butter, but man, you, yeah, it's stupid not to drop the whole thing. I think it's, it's a movie. It's so dumb to do this. It's, it's it just, you're asking for trouble. Uh, yeah. I think they'll do fine. Uh, I think it'll be completely fine, but again, I think it's not going to be as received because I think people are going to get really annoyed, especially after a second part. They're going to mm-hmm. be like, "I just want to watch the whole fucking thing," or I can even see people waiting till all four are out. I think that's because, what I might do because people are going to want to, and they're, they're going to be like, "Whoa, spoilers!" I'm like, I don't care. I just want to watch it all in yeah. one sitting. That's where I'm at. So I'll, how are you going to spoil a movie that's not finished yet, dumbass? <laughs> He already I'll, spoiled Cyborg's dad getting killed. So, yeah. Sorry, Tivis. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'll, I, you know, I'll probably watch it week to week. So. Yeah. I, I have a question for you. How long? Because they already said that the the theatrical one is the one that's going to be canon. How long until they replace it with this? And will that affect Aquaman at all? Do like, uh, you think a, they changed the story of Aquaman because of the changes to Justice League? Is um, I would, I would, I would. We were. I think we've brought this up a couple of times. Like with the Flash movie, it's so like not in development right now as much as they keep wanting to say it is. Right. Um, I could see that being shifted around um, uh, based on the uh, uh, reception that this gets. Aquaman, I think it's just going to go do its own thing. Um, From the way James Wan was talking about it, like they want to go woke with the second one a little more. I was talking talking about the first one specifically. Uh well, like what I'm saying is, is that I think they're just going. Aquaman's just going to keep. I doing kind of feel like that's what they. I, I think they're going to move up and. St- they're all going to do it anyway. Yeah, and I mean, you already have the. Pen. They're going to do their own thing, and Flash Flash will be the only one. If you're going to get connections with, it's going to be to the Snyder cut versus the theatrical cut, um, just because like you could already tell he looked like he was in some type of Speed Force thing. So like how he yeah. sent the message to Bruce is probably going to be talked about yeah. and they're probably going to try and set up a flashpoint in this yeah. movie. So um, I, I refuse to believe that the Flash movie won't be heavily tied into this one. And let's be fair, all the fans are going to use the Snyder Cut as actual canon. So it, I, yeah. it, I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, so. people are already literally, they're, they're doing that stupid thing where they're like, we're burning the other Justice League. Like as soon as they heard about this movie coming out, I was like, you're burning twenty dollars, dude. Well, like, and I'd also be like, keep the diss so you can make fun of it. <laughs> like I want to, because like the the very first thing I would do would be watch the theatrical cut, then yeah. watch the Snyder cut, because I would want to know exactly what they changed. Not only so that, too, it's like think about it with with the the weight of the world right now, and where Warner Brothers is getting rid, like other companies are getting rid of shit. Yep. You might never get to see that. You dumb might cut never get to see that again. Yeah. <laughs> No offense, Tivis. I know you like it. <laughs> uh, That's fine. I got the steel book. I can watch it whenever. See? Yeah. Yeah. I have I all I of even, them. I, I think I, I even own it. Yeah. I get them even if even if I don't like think it's the best thing. I still get it because it's part of the collection. 
I have well, to. I, did, I certainly didn't do that. I think I bought it because uh, it was the only way Hannah and I would sit down and actually watch the whole thing and yeah. laugh at it. Um, because we knew it was I am be bad. sad. I am sad that they're getting rid of probably my favorite scene, which is uh, when Superman first comes back and he repeats the line from uh, Donna Justice, you know, do you bleed? I thought that was a really good inclusion. But, but they're stupid. Do He's human. Bleed. Of course he fucking bleeds. It yeah, but he's sense. saying it out of irritation, like, hey, you know, you remember when you fucking attacked me? <laughs> yeah, it feels more that was no. that was that was something that was strange to me is because I, I just thought it looked stupid because they obviously added the line and they had to do the mustache paint off so it looked really stupid. Um that's the part that bugged me. The weird shifting of context. It's like you know he's like making a callback to go, Hey asshole, <laughs> you remember when you said this to me? Like it was a turn of phrase. Yeah. versus uh versus like oh do you actually but it's like yes he knows he knows humans he's like i could smash you like a grape it's i think like, it was supposed to, it was supposed to be a big like f you <laughs> like and also if, if superman really wanted to kill him at that point just fucking laser his head off and get over with it oh yeah i, I mean I what do... donna justice he cuts those people in half yeah. yeah i'm i'm um I am totally on the side of the internet right now, or at least the fervor I'm seeing. Can we get away from this whole Superman evil thing? Like, I'm getting real sick of watching that story. I really am. It's really played out. And when you they even try to make... They it would be fine, but... Well, and at least when you're actually trying to make him a hero and you still make him brooding and lame, like... Yeah. that's it's, it's like, if you can't even give me, like, the good, joyful, nice version of Superman that I'm accustomed to and, like, I would prefer right now... John. Like... Could you John. just not make him evil for God's sake? John, that's what? that's what Brandon Routh is for. Yeah, but he's not doing anything with it. And he's going and then to. you're getting and you're getting the, the world, CW it, guy. In the world Tyler. where we have five hundred Batman, Brandon Routh becomes Superman, Kingdom Come. It it's unfortunate <laughs> and they just keep doing it. Yeah, I mean, I, you look at the old uh, DCAU, uh, the DC animated. They co- they talk, they look back on it and they're like, "Oh man, I wish I." Because literally, the last episode of Justice League and the only episode of him appearing in Batman Beyond, he's evil. Hey, yeah. hey, Tavis, tell me, tell me, at the end of this uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, do you think Superman's going to be injected with kryptonite so he has no powers? I hope they had the mullet. <laughs> that was the stupidest fucking thing. Why didn't that kill him in the cartoon? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, in the um, Apocalypse War, mm, the last one to finish out, um, apparently, yeah. instead of killing Superman, he just injected him with kryptonite to make him human. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, what? Just ki- like, the green which, kind? Uh, yeah. Which kryptonite? That would kill green. him. That would have killed him. It was him. green, yeah. Because it's literally going through his veins, and you see green in him and shit. I'm it's, just like... It's, again, just proving these people... Dead? It, it's just, again, these people want to tell their story, and they don't care how they tell it. Yeah. They just want it. It's lame. I'm over it. I'm sick of it. Anyways, guys. I don't, I don't that care. was one trailer. <laughs> yes. Uh, we got the cast reveal for Suicide Squad, which... Fuck yes. Oh, dude, I'm pumped. <laughs> it looks That's great. all I want to see of that movie, too. The, the, the teaser is all they need to drop. They do not they need did. to put anything else out. Harley's costume looks awesome. They did put yeah. a little behind-the-scenes featurette, but that's all we got. Was That's, yeah. what, I, that's what I saw. I, watched, I didn't the, watch the character review. I watched the uh, behind-the-scenes. Harley's costume is from the Injustice game, I believe. That's what it looks like, yeah. I yeah. love it. It looks awesome. And like it's all the dope. other ones like have goofy looking costumes, like almost like they just look really dumb. And I like how they kind of remind me of Arrowverse of costumes. Well, yeah. And I get that. And I'm like, <laughs> well, one of two things is happening here. Either one, you do have the classic, like wait till it's uh, shown on like lit, lit really nice right, and, right, co- right. and color corrected and stuff like that. Um, otherwise with some of the more like goofy, like over the top costumes, it's like, like polka dot. Yeah, it's like guys, that's the point. Like we're we're yeah. getting essentially like condiment king type villains yeah. for fun. And who better to do that than James Gunn? Right. Like, you know, because right now with like characters like that, I would trust either him or like a Taika Watiti to do something with it. Taika mm-hmm. Watiti'd be too funny and lame. Like it would be like a 
yeah. and, like living cartoon, even though it's trying. Gun to can put some weight to it, even he, while still making yeah. fun Gun's of it. Gun's just uh, he's just really awesome. Like I, yeah. I really do trust like anything that James Gunn does. Takwatiti was the only one they haven't reviewed. Uh, can you guys hear that? that? Now that's the truck. I was like, Hang what on. the hell? <laughs> um. But I, yeah, I saw the featurette and I'm just like, you know what? This feels like a comic book movie. And just like the yeah. way you're seeing, like you even get like the, the corny thing when they're all like walking in front of the American flag. I loved that. I thought that was really funny because it reminded me of the boys, which I'm like super pumped for season two. Okay, yeah. I'm back. Um, but uh, yeah, I, the I, Suicide Squad movie might be the thing I am most excited for. It's the thing I think has the most uh, promise. Right. Well, I mean, they did good by one getting gun because he's you're putting a bunch of rag ragtag criminals together. I mean, he's literally done that twice. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so All right, with comic book characters, at least. <laughs> um, uh, Takawatiti is the only one they didn't reveal who he's playing either. Like we know he's voicing a character, but yeah. they also didn't right. say who is voicing King Shark. So a lot of people are thinking maybe one and the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm super excited for Capaldi's Thinker. Like, I want to see his version. God, he looks weird. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I and, love uh, that they put um that they put uh uh oh shit, what's his name? The see? the the military dude from the first one. Oh, Rick, Rick Flag. Flag. Rick Flag. I love that they put him back in his actual costume. You know, I'm just yeah. saying. Like he he looks good in that. So again, I'm just saying. Gun hopefully, knows he how gets to... more work after this. Gun is very Gun is very good at uh, even if he's not going to use the actual cannon perfectly, he's good yeah. at the head nods to a point where it's like it doesn't feel um, pandersome. Like it's not like right in your face. Like here, here, idiot. Reference. Right. You know, do you get it? Um, he's usually really good at that, and he's like really good at the subtlety. And if he understands when something's dumb. <laughs> And yeah. he goes, I'm just going to let it be dumb. I'm not going to show that it's dumb. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's, it's like when you're dealing version... with Rocket and Groot, it's like yeah. we understand that this premise is really dumb. Yeah. But we are going to play it serious. So at least we know that the concept is stupid, but we're going to play it right. Like Baby right. Groot's a good example too. Or like um, they made the joke with like Taser Face. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. He's, he's pretty self-aware. And understands the. You shoot tasers from your face, or? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like it's, they're just they're really they're really good at that kind of yeah. stuff, and he's always been good at the self aware type stuff. So I'm excited I, to I'm see excited. Michael Rooker's character too. I'm very because I didn't know he was going to be in that movie until I listened to him talk about it, yeah. like days before. Uh, uh, Biodome. I was gonna fucking say Biodome. And Nathan, and Nathan <laughs> Fillion's in it too. Nathan Fillion's doing something in it too. So yeah, Which, brought all his uh, friends on. That's a name. The name that they show. It's the people are speculating what his character because that's that's a not uh, easy I, I just, to make reference. I just and, want him to be Booster Gold. And then <laughs> I've you always said wanted him to be Booster Gold. John Cena's in that too, right? Yeah, he's yeah, got the yeah. he's got the Chrome Dome. Kind of looks like a dildo. It's really yeah. funny. They asked him to play uh, basically douchey Captain America. I love it. Crazy. I think it's a great idea. John Cena's funny. I don't. I don't give a damn. He can be if he, if he has. If the he's right, got a good script. Yeah. yeah. He's awful in Bumblebee. It's it's atrocious. But that's just because because they have they keep the having him play terrible. this military dude, and he's just he probably is just I, over it. Say, well, yeah. and they want him to be funny too. It's like, dude, you either have to go all in on the funny, or you have to make him serious. Like the guy yeah. is too. He's built like a brick shit house. You don't laugh at him unless you make him like dumb. Yeah. His character. He'd be a good Johnny Bravo. Holy shit. Yeah, his character in Bumblebee reminded me of his character in the Marine movie, which yeah. Not but then he had like really comparison. goofy clown dialogue. It just made no sense. It was just yeah. really lame. I mean, him and it's yeah, it's interesting. And he's gonna. What be are you on the phone? The, what are you doing? He's gonna be the same character in fucking uh, Fast and My, Furious, basically. Michael was like talking on his finger phone there for like yeah. a second. I was like, "Who are you talking to? Are you talking to your mom? Like, rad on, dude, a <laughs> tubular, <laughs> totally tubular." Then we got another trailer for Wonder Woman, which I no, recommend I, people don't watch. I didn't watch that one. I'd recommend. 
Yeah. I would recommend not watch it. Are you are you gonna say because of spoilers? Or are you gonna yeah. say because um yeah, see I'm going because I'm like <laughs> there's a lot of cringe. Um I um I'll let you guys go ahead. You guys I didn't go. watch it, so I have nothing for it. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I, won't Cause I didn't want any spoilers for it or yeah. anything like that. And and like I've watched the first like ten seconds, I was like, all right, I'm good. You pretty much <laughs> it's, it's you pretty much just see all the same stuff you've already seen, and then they yeah. do a cheetah reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And woof, that cheetah does not look good. And I am laughing. My favorite part is right now the internet is being like really nice about it. They're like, guys, the CGI is probably not done. Like, come on. And I'm like, I totally get that. That is that's really true with most trailers and stuff. Right. But this movie's been in production hell for like an extra year. The movie was supposed to be out already. Like almost eight months ago. So I'm like, come on now. Even if at this point you would have had like six months of extra retouching yeah. to do. And that's still what you gave us. Like you have, you have screwed this up, especially right. after seeing cats. How do you <laughs> screw this up? You had time to fix it. And then I it's really a- wish they hadn't revealed that. Because uh, do you think yeah. cat, I, I, I want a sidebar. Do you think cats would have been better if COVID would have happened before it came out? You think they would have spent extra time on the CG? No, I they think- actually they they actually did a a retouch and like fixed a bunch of things that they screwed up, and, and then re released the film yeah, while it was in theaters. Because yeah. even even the version that I s- tried to watch, oh, had you're no saying hands if they and stuff, you're but saying if they had like the if they had another time, six months, yeah, uh, no, because fuck them. Because how do you screw that up? Why are you releasing the film that quickly if you know you've screwed up a ton of stuff? Yeah. I feel like it was more they were trying to do the bare minimum because they knew it was gonna bomb. Like yeah. that's what it well, it like. was supposed to go to Oscars, and then they pulled it like the first week. It, came it's, it looks <laughs> atrocious, dude. And it looks it so was, bad. They pulled it the day after they said that they're still going to go for an Oscar. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I'm just sorry, man. Like, look, if you don't even, if you can't even get the furry community to wank to this thing, I don't know. <laughs> you you have no demographic for this film. Yeah. Because because my oh my girlfriend loves the stage show. We have the stage show like production on DVD, mm-hmm. and the it's Broadway awesome. version. Yeah, and she's yeah. like, she saw the first show. She goes, "How did you? Why did they look awful?" And I go, "Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you screwed <laughs> that up. You didn't make them look like cats, or you didn't make them like anthropomorphic. It's like I'll I'll just go wink to Zootopia. Like Jesus. Like what is this? Okay, don't say Zootopia. <laughs> it was a joke. It was Chill. a joke. But like kids movie, bro. No. Oh yeah, apparently you've never talked to anybody in the furry community. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a interesting bunch. Oh, Calm man. down, internet. You live your life. <laughs> um. Uh, uh. Uh. Anyway. I, Anyways, I hate, thinking, <laughs> I, hate th- I hate thinking of ca- I hate thinking of cats. But I'm still gonna bitch and complain. Uh, oh my god the the lassoing and monkey swinging from lightning bolts i you cannot justify that to me i don't care if she's a god or whatever it looks silly and uh the other one is the eagle suit the eagle iron armor or whatever yeah. um it looks yeah. really cool in the costumes or in the comics comics yeah. um oh my god the armor looks really dull and the helmet makes her face look really stupid i and she knocks off the wings and it looks atrocious in cgi and it's just really bland i hate that's it. another thing i wish they hadn't showed so much of it just looks bad yeah but see i'm glad see I, it's 50 50 because i'm glad they showed it in the trailer because it would have been really disappointing to see those moments live in a theater and go what the hell am i watching versus like i've seen it so now when i watch the movie it the blow won't be as bad <laughs> because I'm like, okay, well, I saw that coming. And it's like, instead of like, Ugh, like when I see Cheetah for the first time, I'm not going to go, oh my God, what, what is happening? It's going to be more like, oh, okay, yeah, she looks like crap, but let's see if the fight looks good. Or like, you know what I mean? It, it takes the, it takes the ooh, awkward cringe factor away a little bit so I can actually watch the film a little more like, okay, they didn't get the look right, but at least is the dialogue okay? Is the fighting good? Did they at least like, pick a good environment like you know what i mean like right it, it's it would be a I, yeah. I can i can give it a little bit more of a pass on a technical level because i'm already like i'm not taken out of the film um did they eh, i don't really care yeah <laughs> I, I i just this movie feels really too little too late and it and based on a lot of the shots they do they are really just banking on steve uh 
Steve Trevor, uh, Chris Pine, Gal Gadot, and Kristen Wiig to just be eye candy, like throughout. Like I think there's just going to be a sexy shot of the three of one of the three or a joke, yeah. like every yeah. other scene. I, just, I really do. I'm very interested to see how this goes. I think she said to um, not Gal Gadot, but the director uh, Jenkins. Is that her name, Jenkins? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not, uh, no she relation said, to Leroy. She said that after the third one, she wants to do a third one to close up her story, and then she's done with Wonder Woman. Oh, I thought she so, literally said she wasn't doing a third one. No, from what I heard, anyways, like I'll there's a third it. one. Um, yeah, but they do flash. Time. They do do. They, I said do do. They do um, do. They um do some flashbacks back to Themyscira as her as a kid. Yeah, yeah. I I Which, hope I hope the dialogue and stuff is better there. Um. I, I like the idea of Themyscira. I was kind of hoping they'd do a little more on there rather than bringing her back to America constantly. But um, Is she I, American? Or... Yeah, because it's the 80s, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I'm just curious. I, I like Themyscira stuff. I like lore. Mm-hmm. Shit, so, because I would find that way more interesting if they did it right. So, And I'm know. super interested in this. Uh, the other antagonist of... Uh, Maxwell Lord, I think, is yeah, because Donald he's Trump. A, he's essentially, a, he's yeah. A, <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a big player with the the lantern stuff in the comics later on during the War of Light and stuff, or uh, Blackest Night. Mm. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so the, the, the next co- we pretty much talked about this in lo- length already, but the Flash uh, <laughs> got some news. It didn't get a trailer. Uh, mm. You know, Batfleck is back, and he might be getting a new costume. The Flash ain't getting the trailer for another three years because he ain't getting his fucking movie ever made. They're gonna talk about it and just hype it up and hype DC up for the next three, five, ten years. They don't care. That's totally just me saying a hyperbolic statement. <laughs> just some yeah. people that aren't like, oh, yeah. fuck you. And did um, you no, the, it's the... oh, um, I, I. I don't know. I don't care. I as soon as they told us that the Zack Snyder's Justice League was coming back, I knew Affleck was going to come back for something at least. Yeah, because it's going to show. The only reason he left was because Justice League was such a big disappointment to everybody across the board. Well, he also had a lot of uh, personal issues he had to yeah. do, figure out. Yeah, yeah, and he was he was supposed to direct um his own batman film and be in it and yeah that just seemed like a lot of work anyways for a batman Whatever, film though. i would have liked to have seen him do it though i he's yeah. he's awesome i mean between the town and um argo like oh those I don't are give, so I, good i don't give a shit he would do a great job and <laughs> he was, would do uh, an amazing job that was a lot of the rumors leading up to this because uh you know he'd been uh, spotted going to meet with wb executives mm-hmm. uh before everything shut down so it's been they're like oh he they're gonna yeah. let him do his movie for hbo max no he's just coming back for the flash yeah he might stay back he might stay on unless they're gonna try and like actually like kill his batman off well if the rumors of flashpoint are true it's gonna be him and then they're gonna right. go back in time and have jeffrey dean morgan do it i would assume but um if they stay true to that iteration that story yeah um yeah. well because i again I, that's why i keep telling people it's like that's why you cast jeffrey dean morgan and lauren cohan to be thomas and martha wayne like yeah. there was a reason you you get those two prolific because at that time they were at peak walking dead fame like everybody knew who they were and um it's like you're not you're not getting those names on screen mm-hmm. just to do that there was a reason for yeah. it and uh, plus uh um Jeffrey Dean Morgan I would love to see him as like a bad ish Batman. Batman yeah. Yeah, the um, one just from because the cartoon. because I, in like I I know his character didn't do much in the Watchmen graphic novel. Mm-hmm. So I really wanted to see his character do more in the uh movie and but then he he doesn't do shit in the fucking movie. <laughs> and I was just like you guys put him in the suit for like just photo ops in this damn movie. Come on. I want to see him do something like he's such a good actor for those type of films. I feel like he, and he can cross over into so much shit. It's interesting. I'm surprised they didn't like draw Butler his ass. I'll put him in gamer with Dexter. Right. <laughs> Send him over to 
do another rom com with Catherine. Exactly. Heigl. No, I'm really surprised he didn't do any rom coms because that's what that's what they did with those actors back then. Well, I think he I think he went the other route, my dude. He got his fame from fucking Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, and then he yeah. became an action star all of a sudden. Because I knew him as Denny Duquette, and then by accident, I found out he was uh, the dad in Supernatural. And then I'm like, oh, well, this guy's awesome. Yeah. And then I watched him in The Losers, or no, I saw Losers, and then I saw Supernatural, and I'm like, this guy's awesome. Right. Why isn't he in everything? Well, and then he want, made Rampage. If you <laughs> want, <laughs> Black Lightning has uh, Dexter's dad in it. Oh, Raiden? Yeah, Raiden. Second yeah. Raiden. He's not the first I, Raiden. Second I, Raiden. I, don't, I don't know what that has to do with <laughs> anything, but yeah, sure. I <laughs> appreciate the reference. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> He's also in Sex in the City. <laughs> what, what, what are we talking about? <laughs> Is he? Yes. Oh, okay. He's one of the Damn it, fucking Jessica say Parker. something to divert us. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> uh, well, then we not so much a trailer, but like a motion comic for uh, Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam finally. After what it feels like eight years with him signed on, we're getting something. That's a motion comic. That's it. Well, that's what the the reveal was. It'll it'll be its own movie, and they also revealed it's gonna have the Justice Society in it. Uh, they confirmed Hawkman, Doctor Fate, Cyclone, and Adam Smasher. And I think that's stupid, because <laughs> um, you already you already shot your load and brought in all the other like Shazam family people, and you're gonna bring in Black Adam, who's can who if people like this this character and his lore. Black Adam is the biggest, baddest thing you can do. Like, you can bring him in, and everybody wants to know about Black Adam and his history, because he's got cool history. And uh, and then it's like, so you're already bogged down by seven superheroes and your main villain, and then you want to bring in a bunch of other people? Like, they must be banking on us either of seeing, seeing the Legends of Tomorrow stuff, read the comics, or watched Stargirl. <laughs> like, they, are, they must be banking on that, because... I think, I think it's it, a silly idea. And this is clearly going to be set in, before Shazam. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a smart move because he does have a lot of ties with the Joe. I mean, him and Adam Smasher butt heads a lot. And so I think it's a great way to introduce him. And the way they make it sound is they want to try and have Black Adam and Shazam kind of in their own franchises and then have them come together in kind of what should have been the justice leaks plan right <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so uh, to me that sounds awesome uh, we also got shazam sequels uh title uh fury of the gods and that's it with that movie <laughs> no i'm just i i just think they're i i think uh dc is not gonna ever learn their lesson about rushing stuff uh, they want to just bing bing boom 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 boom, boom. it was star girl's big problem too um just a lot of information being dumped constantly for only 13 episodes. Um, and then uh, it's just a lot of stuff. And then, uh, well, I kind of wanted to go back to flash for like two seconds was cause um, flashback. I'm very curious if that movie's ever going to actually so be made. Stupid. I want it to be made. I know I'm just giving you a break on that one. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to move along. Um, I'm flash forward if I may. And um, uh, I, I, I think a lot of it's really going to be determined uh, by how the internet, if they can forget about what happened with Ezra Miller, mm. because um, they're moving Maybe forward with, well, right now they're moving, of, they're moving ahead with Amber Heard uh, for Aquaman 2, which I think is a mistake. I think it's a huge mistake. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of with the internet. Since she has telekinetic powers, I don't need her to be tall and menacing or anything. I think Amelia Clark would be a great recast because they already have the chemistry. I think it would be mm-hmm. way, way smarter. Um, and you would have the name there. I, 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 I wouldn't mind seeing a redhead. Um, I just, I think it's such a bad call right now <laughs> to keep her on cast. Um, so we'll see. I, and I don't know how you have an Aquaman 2 without Mira in it right now. Uh, because she was pretty yeah. heavily tied to the first. She night. dies off screen. From I mean, pooping you... on a bed. We go the flashpoint route where. Oh, I got it. Okay. Where Wonder Woman cuts off her head. Yeah. Right. There we go. There you go. Wouldn't that be cool? Just like they do. They that could open the movie up with her dying, and that's what sparks the rest of the movie. That's what well, he's working for towards. 
Yeah, yeah but I'm just, like, but I'm just like, man, you didn't even get to see them like as king and queen for like a minute. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? People would be very disappointed from the first film. Uh, yeah, I think the Aquaman fans wouldn't be too thrilled about that. It's just uh, shit he, happens all over beds. <sighs> I'm never gonna let that go. Sorry. I don't have my soundboard for crickets, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wah, wah. I do have one more before we get in the final trailer. Uh, what is it? Uh, Static is getting his own movie. Oh, that's kind of cool. He hasn't been on screen since Static Shock and barely been in the comics. They canceled you, his... Uh, what's that? I bet you the movie gets canceled and he just gets a CW show. I was hoping he would join Black Lightning. It seems it seems like the obvious move. Yeah, it does seem yeah. strange that you, you would go with a movie. Like Static Shock feels like one that you could get away with it being kind of cheaply made. Mm-hmm. You could get away with the CW on that yeah. one. Oh yeah. Well, Static Shock, most people that know him for the most part, I would be willing to say know him from the cartoons. Right. Oh yeah. Versus his comics. Like um because they they just really nailed the character in that first uh, cartoon Dude. i think but um i was i was like he just seems like the natural progression for the black lightning you know team or world or whatever they're doing too and it would give them a little more to do on his side without doing did they say who um who is playing him or no uh, i believe they just said that they're making the movie okay all right fair enough fair enough it It'll be interesting to see what they come up with. Um, I don't know. I have to I double check the. I'd have to double check the look at a uh, look of him, and I don't know if he does a lot of live action stuff. But the guy who uh, voice voiced Miles Morales, mm-hmm. um, for Spider Verse, he'd probably oh, be pretty you good. Fucking clickbait, son of a. Oh, <laughs> uh, triggered. Apparently, if it's got triggered, it wasn't. There's serious talks about moving forward with a movie. They better freaking make this movie. I mean, it's not that's not cryptic or anything. I keep telling everybody that talks about that as a movie. It's sh- it's just gonna be a CW show. It it makes a lot more sense. I agree. It, uh, it, like, not, especially not for saying, the character. Not saying that that fucking character doesn't deserve a movie, but. Really, there's other characters that they should be working on developing into. Well, I don't even. I wouldn't even say it's a matter of deserving. It's. I think. (laughs) I. I think it's more of the idea of the way. Again, the way you could present it. Like, yeah, he's he's kind of quippy and he's fun and it's, it's essentially like Saved by the Bell with like a superhero. Like, Mm -hmm. it's supposed Uh, to be, kind of fun like that. And he's kind of like a. He's kind of like a, like a Spider Man, kind of character. Like, um, like I just your local. Yeah, it's like I, it could be a really easy uh, serial show with an overarching villain, and yeah. and again, like the costume always looked kind of cheap anyway, and it's you already got like pretty good lighting effects team for Black Lightning, so it just feels like the natural progression. I feel like you'd get away with a lot more stuff, it being a CW show versus like, oh, this character that a lot of people don't really know about. We're gonna throw them up there, and with again with DC kind of playing catch up to everything right now, mm-hmm. it's like come on, like everybody's really freaking happy. It's like it's why I hate these kind of a stupid events because then everybody it acts everybody acts like they forgot about the last decade. Right. <laughs> it's like everything's yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna be awesome. It's like you literally yeah. just saw a trailer, and their track record is pretty much telling us they can't do this right. <laughs> I'm more hopeful than anything. <laughs> oh. Color me shocked, sir. Static. Static shocked. <laughs> uh, Phil, Phil See, Lamar. that's how you do a pun, Michael. Uh, Phil Lamar, who voiced him in the cartoon, said that he would uh, he would love to play him in the movie and that someone should talk to Scorsese so they could de-age him like they did in The Irishman. Mm. He could totally play a 14-year-old. Cordy. Even him as a de-aging, he would look dumb as shit in that yeah, role. But yeah, he, but he was one of the guys <laughs> that... Funny. He's one of the guys that uh, went off and started spouting his mouth about voice actors not voicing specific characters. So unless he's 14, he can't do it. So fuck him. <laughs> so fuck that guy. <laughs> like Real talk. Boom. Uh, then we get to the big finale. The finale? The Batman. 
the robot bat and bat. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. Oh, okay. It's just there. All right. <laughs> Holy crap, did this trailer blow me away? Ew. Like, don't tell your wife. Yeah. Okay. How many times did you watch it, Tivis? I gotta know. How many times did three, you watch three it? Three times. I, and I, I I'm only bored. up to three. Okay. And I wasn't even bored. How many times did you watch it, John? Uh, 512. I can believe it. Yes. You're like, I gotta find something shitty in this trailer. <laughs> Am You're I tying right? with Mosher at this point. <laughs> oh man, like Scott Mosher or Austin? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I just watched it like twice. Okay. Um, looks good. I again, I still am a proponent that I never had a problem with the Robert Pattinson casting. I I never yeah. did. No. I go. Everybody acts like Twilight was the only thing he's ever done. And again, when you go back to that. He's not even the worst part of the film. <laughs> like, no. if anything, probably most people the best consider him probably one film. of the best parts. Yeah, and um, you know, and then and then people go and watch something like The Lighthouse, and they're like, "Oh my god, he can't act!" It's like, yes, he's been able to do this for quite some time. They do know there's tons of movies between The Lighthouse and fucking Twilight, right? It's like, insane. No, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, people <laughs> are just like, don't give. It's like, oh man. The I guess if it's not like the Joker, I, I, I guess if it's not like a big like, str- like pop culture iconic movie they don't give a shit about it you know yeah. I, um, um but i mean i still maintain i don't like the cow um but it is like first gen suit type yeah. stuff so i'm yep. fine with like it moving I, it really looks like daredevil to me and like his chin and then like the way he kind of does the voice uh because you know he kind of goes for like the you know christian bale but not as annoying like yeah. he goes for like i'm vengeance that kind of thing I'm like, it works, but man, when you see the close-up of the cow and he does that, I'm like, God, he looks just like Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, I um, guess. But the suit, the suit looks pretty dope, though. I, I think it looks fine. Um, again, the memes, like, can you guys shut the fuck up for like two seconds? It's like, because he's got the air, like the eyeliner on his face. It's like, whoa, emo Batman. I'm like, every Batman has the black stuff in their eyes for the yeah. cow. He actually has, uh, watched a video where someone pointed, he actually has it on when he takes the mask off. Like, you go back, there's a, a what was it? I think it was, it's either a Kilmer or a Clooney, but they show him, he has it on, they cut away, they cut back, he's got it off as he that risks was, his. Yeah. That's Clooney, I believe. Is it Clooney? Yeah, because it's in the uh, uh, oh. Well, they do it with I most of the Batman. At, yeah. Like, it's, yeah. Um. So it's just I. I'm like, just shut up with that. Two. I go. Um. They also did it with um. Michael Keaton t- would take the mask off, yeah. and he didn't have the shit on either. Exactly. Um, They're just being stupid. It's like. How do you think his eyes get blacked out too, dumbass? Okay. Like. Uh, Penguin Riddler stuff. Cool idea. A neat concept. I completely forgot the Riddler was in this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you got uh Commissioner Gordon, Jeffrey Wright playing him. I don't care. As long as he's good, I don't care. Um, yeah. um, because then you're just gonna have to make sure uh you ever bring Batgirl into his universe, she's gonna have to either be adopted or black, so pay attention. Um uh Zoe Kravitz I don't think they're up. uh cat yeah, their catwoman shows up. I'm like, that looks fine. I, I don't care. Uh, looks like she can do acrobatic fighting stuff like cool have fun uh, it'll be fine um, suit looks pretty cool I'm still a little off on the gauntlets they look kind of weird but whatever again it seems like everything like his suit's going to have a purpose if that right. makes sense like there's going to be stuff on it to use his gauntlets look like they have like they're that, like like sh- don't throw daggers or something. Shit. yeah, yeah. kind of so, like Black Widow yeah yeah. Or like how Arrow had like he had the, like the patches on his thighs and he like had throwing knives yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah. to throw, yep. and uh, I don't know. Didn't really get a look at the Batmobile. I'm glad they at least saved something to show me later. Yeah. Um, it just showed the back of it, right? Yeah, I definitely won't be watching anything after this because probably not. Yeah, I I'm the surprise. I think it's good. I think it's at least gonna feel pretty darn good, and it looks like Batman's been working with the cops, mm-hmm. so I'm like. I, I, I'm so just really I wonder, hoping they're gonna be like Batman for once. I think I'm hoping we're actually gonna see yeah. some Bat detective stuff happening. So I'm guessing once. with <laughs> with the whole him working with the cops, he's clearly been established as Batman in That's the what universe. I, yeah, right. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna be getting some. 
I, I feel like we're going to be getting some flashback stuff, like him coming up. and. Well, you know we can't get through a Batman movie without his parents dying. No, I know. It's going to be awful. My but parents died. I can Sad. live with it. I got I to gotta beat the crap out of evil. It's just one of those things Vengeance. where it's like, it's just one of those things that's like, why can't you just like look at a, like a painting of him as a kid with his parents and then you just hear in his mind like the gunshots and yeah. the, the pearls fall and then we're just done with it. Like, there you go. It was in an audio thing. It happened. Boo-hoo. And then like maybe he walks by the theater one time. I really like... And he drops a rose, like, you know, like in the first yeah. fucking Ben Affleck Daredevil. Yeah, yeah. Do that. And then I boom, really like on. the aesthetic of this one though, because it, it reminds me of like a mix between Burton and the, the Christian Bale shit. Burton and Ernie. Uh Burton and Nolan's films. Oh, ah, okay. It reminds me of a mixture of those two. Definitely. I, I like the we got quite a few scene, uh you know, glimpses of him as just Bruce Wayne as well. And yeah. It kind of looks like that obviously it's hard to tell because this is just a small portion of 25 percent of the movie that they shot yeah <laughs> yeah and uh but it kind of which seems is like crazy still... when you think about that like they're never finished shooting the fucking movie and this is what we get to see it, it, it seems to me like he's still having trouble trying to differentiate his you know identities because, you know, you get a glimpse and he's looking all like broody and pissed off in public. Yeah. Well, I was telling people, I was like, well, look at, the, you can almost see the context though. There's something going on that's chaotic mm. and he's probably disheveled. Like there's a, I guarantee you, you don't cast Robert Pattinson and not have him play the playboy sexy persona at least a couple of times. Like mm. it'd just be like, it would be like getting George Clooney and then keeping him in the bat suit the entire time. Like it just would make no sense. So I it's I, I feel like you're gonna the, get the duality of the character in this, the, I hope. So the we'll, scene <laughs> the, the shot that they put out with him with the eyeliner and stuff though, yeah, really makes me want him to be Nightwing too. <laughs> oh my god, you're lying. It's just like, come on, bro. He's Clown. Batman, it's fine. Let it be a good Batman. And then he can be Nightwing in the few years too. <laughs> oh, can we get a Nightwing live action? No. Yeah, with um um Chris Joseph O'Donnell. He's gonna show me. <laughs> what about Joseph Gordon love it. <clears throat> no. Oh, I man. was hoping that's where they were going with that film, but no, they decided not to. They weren't that's going okay. anywhere with that film. Yeah. And ba- that was, and that Bale said that he wouldn't be uh he wouldn't do any more if they did a well, Robin anyways. I know, but the, they could end on open ended, which they ended they did anyway. Well, it's okay. Dark Knight Rises is terrible anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> it's not, it's not, why would you shoot a man throwing him out of a plane oh. I don't know to make sure he's dead <laughs> um, but yeah no this I, and the intimidation tactics we beat the crap out of that one thug in front of the other ones yeah and then, yeah, there's, too. I liked it there's a shitload of memes going on about that saying why why is Batman being so I'm like are you kidding me like He's sending a message. Yeah, that's Pissed exactly off. what I'm thinking. I'm like, you're sending a message. If you beat the shit out of this one dude in front of all these other guys like that, they're not gonna go and fuck around with you anymore. They're yeah, go to. Do. I mean, have they not watched the news in Portland? <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. Okay. I did like how when he came into the cop, the cops still looked a little weary. So it's like he's still freshly working with them. I don't oh, know yeah. if they can trust him. Yeah, I I'm excited. Yeah. I, be I think it's gonna be good. I yeah. think it's gonna be fine. I don't know if it's gonna be like amazing, but it's I, definitely gonna I be. Hope they get Gotham right is one of my biggest things. Like, get Gotham right. I'm just I'm, yeah, I'm curious. Lots of it looks color like and giant statues of people. It looks like it looks like seven, but with Batman. So it looks like I'm I'm good with it. If you can give me something akin to that, I can work with it. Yeah, I can see that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then the other two reveals were a Suicide Squad game. And, oh, yeah, the video games. And uh, Gotham Knights. Which I thought looked interesting. but I think King Shark... So the Suicide Squad trailer kind of threw me off because mm-hmm. Harley's character design is kind of meh. King Shark looks stupid. Um, and they made... They made Deadshot black for some reason. 
Even though this is supposed to be within the continuity of the Arkham games? No, neither one. The rumor was that, that they're part of the Arkham... That was the rumor, but stuff. they confirmed that. Okay, they confirmed not. Are, yeah. huh. Okay, well, if that's true, then that's fine. Because um, I was like, why would you do that if it's already established? Um, I, I thought the not. same thing with uh, Gotham Knights, but no, they they okay. take inspiration from it, but they're their own thing. Then I can live with that. But then... Um, so then I'll retract that because then that's not even an argument. Um, but then I still think King Shark looks kind of dumb. Um, but then you have like the trailer kind of goes off the rails and like why does Boomerang look like he's teleporting? That was weird. Yeah. Um, game mechanic. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming uh, they, must, they had to give him like a cooler power, I guess, to not be so lame. And then it just looks like Fortnite. <laughs> like the way that they were like the, the bright colors and, yeah. well and like the way like the character models were moving around and and all that like it looked very fortnite so i'm kind of like it's banned meh. from apple phones so i go meh um and then again evil superman trip so i was a little annoyed with that yeah um but it seems like the voice acting can be okay i guess uh it seems like they're really leaning into the, like the harley cartoon slash like zaniness so I'm like, that can at least be fun. I laughed at the end of that that one though, because he's Superman gets hit with a boomerang, but you hear boomerang yeah. saying, "Yeah, Shark is the one who did it." Oh, man, Shark, why'd you do that? <laughs> um, and then uh, then you had Gotham Knights, and I'm like, I really don't like the character designs, uh, the costumes. They're very re- cartoony, mm. but it looked fun to me. See, I don't even know if they were cartoony. They looked cheap. Like, it was weird because you're like, you're in this really dark and like ominous Gotham. And then, like, they're, it looks like they're all wearing hoodies. Like, I'm just like, ugh, this looks. Yeah. Because even Red Hood, the hood part of it was either you had the Red Hood before he had the mask or then he has the helmet. But then you still gave him like a brown hood. It's like, why are you? You would never and, do that. <laughs> and that could change. I mean, they were very, they wanted the emphasize that this was pre-alpha stuff that they showed us like batgirl didn't look bad but the robin and uh red hood ones really stood out to me is pretty atrocious nightwing we looks like anything nightwing, about so nightwing. <laughs> well i mean i guess you want it for the game um i don't know uh, it looks fine I, I don't know if i care enough uh for either game but it will be interesting because like games like that i tend to just watch playthroughs to get the storyline that they're going to go with it, it made me want a dc version of ultimate alliance like why can't dc just do things mm. that marvel has done that we like <laughs> yeah yeah i'd agree i could go for that because i do like i do like those ultimate alliance games they're just nice time wasting button mashers they're mm-hmm. they're kind of neat and they usually have a decent storyline enough to to get me through it so yeah, yeah. that'd be nice yeah but, and then there was a couple Marvel news if you guys want to. Sure, because we any talk of the Marvel cause we, news because we talk about DC too much. Well, uh, Craven the Hunter gets a director, JC uh-huh. uh, Chandor. Wait, so they're doing like a Craven standalone film? Yep, like they did Venom. That's fucking dumb. Well, okay, I say that you could do a good job. He's at least kind of interesting. I don't know. And then uh, Olivia Wilde says that she is working on a Marvel movie with Sony, possibly Spider Woman, but they haven't said what it is. Yeah, it was like Spider Gwen. I thought she said she wanted to do. Yeah. Which I'm like, why Olivia Wilde? Like, why is that news? She could honestly play Jessica Drew perfectly fine, but she's going to direct instead. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, d- I didn't even know she did that. Like, well, so how is that an announcement? If anything, I'm like, wait, why? <laughs> like, did they did everybody else die? Why are you directing the film? <laughs> it's just, it was weird. It was just really strange because I only know her as an actor. So it's like, man, are you guys just like scraping the barrel or does she just have a bunch of movies I've never heard about that she I directed? couldn't tell you. They just tried to do different things. I don't sure. know fucking those anymore. Everybody gets to direct everything they want now. Yay. Because nobody's directing anything now. <laughs> Yay. Well, they're certainly not writing it. Uh, I don't know about you guys. After the, There's been such a lack of movie news since this lockdown started that 
my wife and I just decided to start looking, go and watch some movie trailers that came out. I don't know. I uh-huh. mean, there was the death of the Nile that, and uh, the war with Grandpa, which looks interesting. But mm. so, are we done with DC and Marvel then? God, I hope so. So, like I mean, forever. You got anything else to add? Forever, we're never ever talking yeah, never, about it ever again. Ever. DC, Okay. Will never be brought up again on this podcast. I won't even put those oh. two. I won't even put those two letters together. They used unused footage from last season of The Flash to make a trailer. Oh, you already ruined it, Tivis. Way to go! Not even two seconds. I forgot <sighs> about that. Tisk tisk Tivis. Aha! It rhymes. <laughs> I, I miss people. I'm not drinking today. All right, so. <laughs> Now you'd probably be funny. Oh, I, um, I, I just want to talk thing? about a couple of things I've been watching lately. So, well, I finished Umbrella Academy season two. Uh, it's DC. Actually, I don't it's even not. know if that's true. I just said no, that. it's not. That's true. Um, Umbrella Academy season two, and they fuck it up because they give oh, themselves no. time travel rules with oh. certain things. Well, they had time travel in the first season. Do they actually no, have the rules and do they stick to them? Because he, that's very important. He's, he, so five, number five, the, the main kid who does all the time travel, he starts talking about certain things that happen within time travel rules that start to not make any sense by the end of the show because they, they establish some rules and then they just go completely against them. So interesting. It'll be interesting to see how season three goes if they get a season three. Um, mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil the season for y'all, but yeah, uh, that is something that you get to look forward to if you get decide to watch it. John, I know you were more into the boys than Umbrella Academy, so I because I um, liked Umbrella Academy, I felt it was kind of just a lackluster yeah. thing. Like I, I thought that like I liked all the characters. I always found a lot of the other side stories to be way more interesting than what was the. Actual, main story like, overarching thing yeah which they do a ton of different side stories um in this season in the third se- or second season which is really nice because the overarching is just them trying to yeah, yeah. yeah. i just i because i was always telling people i was just like i remember when when violin girl gets the boyfriend and stuff and i'm just like this guy's yeah. gonna be evil like you could just tell yeah, yeah, like, yeah. so like a lot of stuff just didn't like surprise or do anything and like but all the stuff with Klaus was really interesting. Yep. Um, all the stuff with the, uh, the uh, I can't remember what they're actually called, but the two time uh, cop people uh, from the. Oh, um, uh, um, I cannot remember. Because yeah, they're not in this season at all. Uh, no, I thought the guy who liked the donut lady, isn't that actor in it? I thought he was. He's in the first episode. Oh, and that's it. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, thank you for saving me some time then, because he was one of my favorite characters in the entire show. Yeah. Um, I really liked his side story and like the arc that he had with his partner right, right. to the, and um, I I just really liked a lot of the side stuff. And then you you get back into the main story and you're like, I just don't care. Hazel, <laughs> Hazel is his name. That's what yes. It is. Hazel. Thank you. And um, I was about to go look for it, and then I remembered it. <laughs> uh, I just, it was good. It was fine. I, yeah. I, um, it kind of feels like they're just going to double down on some of the stuff that they did in the first one and, and then maybe increase some powers. I uh, I don't know. Once you start doing time travel shit, I'm like, if you got away with it in the first season, I wouldn't go back to it, but it sounds right. like they're going back to it. So. Um, well, I mean, they end the second or the first season with time travel. Because they Remember? well, because well, yeah, because it's they. It, it was almost like a weird loop thing that they were doing. Because it was like yeah. they lost anyway, even though, like, they knew something bad was going to happen. Right. Um. So. Yeah, but like they, uh, well, you saw the stupid trailer that they dropped. They're in the past. That was why I kind of um. That's kind of why I started to not care. Um, that trailer is like cute as it was, and like with the song and all that. Just stuff. so you know, that's literally just the intro, and they never yeah. show that shit ever again. Well, that's fine. It just, but 
if that's the kind of effort that they put into the trailer, I, I right. can't imagine what they're going to put into the show because that was very effects heavy. And it was, it, there's no way that could have been easy to do. Right. Um, but like I said, the hardest part was just sitting there and watching people just not shoot them. Cause like, why is Klaus not getting littered with bullets? Like, yeah, he's just throwing ghosts at you. Like he would not be standing out in the middle of a road with, you know, right, right, right. launchers and which again, and... I thought they would explain some of that shit in the show, but they completely, they, they never get to that part. Yeah. It was um, just straight up spectacle. And I'm afraid that's what the season's going to be. It's just a lot of spectacle. Within the, I really enjoy nonsense. Klaus's, his whole, I just like that actor too. Jive. Yeah, dude. If you like um, Klaus, go watch the first season of Misfits. It's fucking awesome. You keep, you keep telling that. I'll have to check it out. It's so good. But his story arc within this season, I like it. Um, and then they, like, midway through, they, like, dive him back into other shit. Then I was just like, why did you guys do that? But well, then I, they, like, pull him well, back out, which well, is Well, cool. I, I make the argument they do that in the first season. Like, there's a weird episode where it feels like all of their character progression just hit a reset button. and Because it like, did. It did. And then, and then all of a sudden they came back. It was really strange. Yeah, th- they did a whole episode. I don't know if you watched the sh- show, Tivis, but they did a whole episode. And then number five comes back and changes everything. <laughs> like at the very end, he comes back like uh, the day before, which yeah. then that whole day we just watched is erased. I was like, that was like the best fucking day for those people. Like, yeah. Come on. Well, then, well, no, but then the problem was is then the episode after that, people were still kind of acting like they'd had, had all that progression. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? It, it, I'm talking more like narratively, yeah, they lost all that character development that we really liked about them. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Especially, and, it, and the main thing is because of Klaus. Right. Um, he, he has like the PTSD stuff. He learns about the war, like all that, all that he stuff. He learns to manifest his powers better too. That too. And then it gets removed by five. Right. But then somehow um, we have an episode of him being stupid again. But then the episode after that, he's back to being kind of broody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, they're like, hey, we took all that development away. But then they're like, no, it doesn't really work for what we need him to do. do. It, was really, yeah. it was really strange. It was like they hit the reset button and then said, Oh, you know what? That was probably a bad choice. And then gave it back to them right. without giving it back to them, if that makes sense. Without making them earn it, yeah. Yeah. It was just like they're they're playing those characters with that knowledge, yet they don't actually have that yeah. knowledge. Yeah. So it's it was really it was really weird. It was just an acting thing I noticed. Yeah. But yeah. But I mean, they they figured But they, they give him they give him more that. they give him more to do in the second season. <laughs> um and they give uh Vanya more shit. Too. Uh, so, that's interesting. Um. So yeah, that's that's my little tidbit of that. But we did start a new show, oh, no. and I want you to watch this show, John, because oh, no. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Because every it episode, no, I don't CW? know. It is a comic show. Okay. Um, but every time I, before I say what it's called and everything, okay. every time me and Nikki watch it. Like we're six episodes in now. <gasps> we only we only have four episodes left of the ten episode season, okay. and uh, every time we watch it, while we're watching it, we're making fun of it, like calling out their bullshit. Like, oh, uh, why is this person in broad daylight with a fucking sword and no one's <sighs> questioning the shit? Like, yeah. and there's people around, and you like, mean just, like bright? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> just stupid shit. Um. Dang but it. I, was, it is, I had a guess. It is entertaining in a way, it, in 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 the way that it, I'm still watching it, so I haven't turned it off yet. So oh no, um, I, I was gonna guess that it was the Tick, but I don't no know no. It is on Netflix. It's called The Warrior Nun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, it's. It's interesting, and it's nice to that I'm watching it, and there's only like one actor I I recognize from the entire show so far, which mm. is nice. So I get to see these fresh talent to myself. Their acting isn't bad. The dialogue is bad, but their acting isn't bad. <laughs> oh, and then some of the stupid things they do because warrior nun, right? Yeah. So 
they're in broad daylight, two nuns fighting <laughs> with fucking swords next to people. I'm just like, awesome. I was just like, did they not? Think, and Nikki's like, I don't think they thought that through. <laughs> I was like, po- who the, power the of Christ the will fucking compel writers? you? <laughs> will compel you to the end of my blade. Uh, it was, it was just funny. It, it's a fun show to just watch and make fun of, and it has some of moments, but it's just a fun like, I need something to watch type of show. Good lord. So, yeah, yeah. you can watch Warrior Nun, but you can't fucking finish Lord of the Rings. All right, <laughs> can I? Uh... Can I take us back to the dome real quick? I just oh, DC, no! <laughs> okay. uh, Titans, season three. Three characters revealed. They actually got a season three. Yeah. Who's Who are they adding in now? Because they like had a Superboy in second uh, season, well, right? One character is becoming Red Hood. Yay. Okay. They are adding Barbara Gordon and Scarecrow and moving the team to Gotham. Yay. Where were they? They San were in Francisco. like okay, yeah, because they were in the Titan Tower, right? For season yeah. two, I didn't watch season two, so I need to. I, I heard there's some good stuff in it, but crypto is awesome. Season one was so abysmal. I cannot bring myself to watch season two. <laughs> I can't do it. I watched two episodes of season two, and I'm just like, I'm so good. I don't need this. <laughs> I I was in the same boat, but I pushed through and. Uh, once you get to the Doom Patrol episode, it, it really picks up. But, oh, my um, God, getting to that episode. And I think it's five in. It is a For season fight. one yeah. or season two? Season one. Oh, uh, yeah. Doom Patrol is the best episode yeah. of season one. Mm-hmm. I would argue it's the only time I saw the Teen Titans, like Raven and Beast Boy hanging out with the Doom Patrol people. I was like, this is the tone the show should have had. <laughs> like, this is what the show was supposed to be. Not this fucking brooding, breaking arms and saying fuck all the time. Have you guys, uh, you got HBO Max now, don't you, Mike? Yes. Have you tried Doom Patrol season two yet? No, I have not. Not yet. It's it's really annoying because I've started Swamp Thing and Doom Patrol and I enjoyed multiple episodes and I still just don't finish it. I don't know why. Swamp Thing is so good. Dude, the, the first episode is so gnarly. I love it. How long do you have until they transfer everything to Max? I got Max, so it's fine. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. We um so I'm the only one. Yeah, we we're... I got HBO Max to watch the Lovecraft Country thing. Oh yeah. my god. It's so much fun. There are people that I know that like stupid, like crazy stuff, and they can't even watch it because of how crazy some of the layers get on this shit. It's awesome. Definitely recommend, John. <laughs> I, I, I just, I, nobody can do HP Lovecraft uh, correctly. They don't understand what uh, the it's point racism. of him. Yeah. Well, that too, but you know. Well, no, there are some good HP Lovecraft adaptations I have seen in the past. Um, yeah. I do want to see the color, the color, uh, what the fuck Purple? was that one? No, um, the color of space, I think it is color out of space that, okay. that's what it is uh it has that it has a uh, um nicholas cage in it oh well sign me up <laughs> uh, they just did a doctor who with uh, lovecraft theme stuff yeah uh, audio i don't believe you <laughs> that's fine <laughs> I believe it. shockingly i don't know how we missed this show but we've been we're on the final season of uh key and static Peele. shockingly key and yeah. peel yeah, like, show like was so funny. from like twenty years ago. <laughs> I don't know how I missed it. I love these sketch comedy shows, and oh, I don't yeah. know why I did. I didn't think it was one of those, and then we I'm watched gonna, the first episode. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna finish yeah. uh, season one of uh, In Living Color, you know, soon. That's good. Oh, <laughs> you know, we bought the. D- My father-in-law loves that, so we bought the entire series DVD for him. What in Living Color? Yeah, and nice. Freaking cat puked all over it. <laughs> oh man, that's a shame. Let me show you something. What? Did you know Jim Carrey got denied on the SNL? Yeah, that's because why he of went that to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was the best thing that ever could have happened to his career. There's so many big name comedians that got denied on there. 
The, yeah. They, you know, they kicked themselves. Like Kevin Hart. They could have had Kevin Hart. They could have had a lot of people, and they were just being stupid. And I mean, look at a lot of the people that are on there now. They don't go out and do anything like some of the the veterans did, like the old school guys did. Kid Rock or Kid Rock, Chris Rock, <laughs> fucking Kid Rock, Kid Rock and Joe C. Welcome to Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, well, welcome to Saturday Night Live. Bob with the Bob, a bang to ding diggy. Yeah. No. No. All right. No. All right. No. All right. Do you? I don't think I've been watching anything else. I did watch a movie. The, oh yeah, oh, I told Tibbs about this. Oh, John. Oh me. I I I. A few weeks ago when we were doing the podcast and we weren't gone and shit, I showed everybody and told everybody about a stupid goof that Disney sent me, a movie that Disney sent me. Oh, yeah. And, and it was called The Call of the Wild. Yeah. With Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford and, a, and CG a CG dog. dog. We finally sat down and watched that movie. Best an movie I, since White an Fang, right? Hour and a half movie. I never saw White Fang. Um, <gasps> <laughs> an hour and a half movie, and it surprisingly wasn't horrible. Like what I've they show the in the fine. what they show in the trailer is not what the movie is. I don't imagine. And and um. The CG dog doesn't look bad compared to the rest of the world since they do mostly CG world and all the other animals are CG. So it, it fits in. So well, the issue is from what I saw in the trailer, at least with the animals, uh-huh. is that yes, they're CG animals. It's not but, as big as but his, it looks in the trailer. But I was going to say the lead dog, they try to give emotion to its face. No. Uh, at least it looked like it in the trailer. You could almost see it like made... smile and shit. It was really weird. Yeah, they didn't try any of that shit in the movie. Yeah, I didn't we'll see, see any of that. Maybe they were trying to sell it more for the family audience in the trailer. Yes, maybe. Um, also, Harrison Ford isn't like a priority in the film until like the last 30, 40 minutes. Well, I heard maybe. it's kind of just like a homeward bound kind of thing. Yeah, except the animals didn't talk. Mm. Which, so. I mean, then why even bother? But even Nikki, she didn't think that the movie was going to be any good. She just wanted to watch it since we ended up paying for it anyway. So she liked it. She thought it was okay. Yeah. I'm, I probably would be indifferent. So it. it was interesting. Definitely interesting. Is that on Disney Plus? I have probably. No, because it was 20th Century Fox. So I don't know if uh, they put that on there or not. Well, yeah, technically, it's 20th century. I'm sorry. They didn't put the Fox fucking name on there anymore. <gasps> yeah. You look like you have, like, Vulcan eyebrows because of the way the light Because of these? Because yeah. of my oh. glasses? Yeah. How I know. You, that's why I keep going down further. <laughs> how are you still liking Lower Decks? Are you still keeping up with it? I'm like Lower Dicks, am I right? I mean, oh. They've only dropped two episodes as of today. I the third episode was out. Um, Michael no. is falling behind. No, the third episode, they drop them on Thursdays. Okay. Dr- drop you. Um, Thursday. but I've only watched two episodes. I probably won't watch anymore. No. <laughs> it's just not entertaining to me. It's just not I, keeping me attached to so it. It's so not funny. I can't, and, I can't. Dude, they it. fucked up, like, a lot of the, the, they didn't put some of the layers in, in the last episode that I saw. That was really funny. I and saw, I like, saw the there were people like on sitting in there too. I was dying. I was like, and those are really blatant too. Yeah. And like, they're not like fast scenes either, because you yep. can notice them when you're watching. Yep. So it's not like it was something that was just like a second or something where someone on the internet stopped for like a half a second just to catch it. No, yep. it was like a longer shot. And um, multiple issues in the same, yeah. like in the same. Because it was shot. all probably on one fucking layer, you know. Yeah. How they layered the animation, which is stupid, but it was um, so dumb. It was, it's just not entertaining to me. Um, so that's yeah. fair. 
But I've been watching the Orville. If you want good Star Trek, go watch the Orville. God, I, it's not even like the Star Trek aspect of the show. It's just not entertaining at all to me. Like it, yeah. there's nothing that grabs me. The only cool thing I like is when they do the visuals for outside of the starship. Yes. Yep. I agree. That's it. I and 100% agree. The stories in the show are just, they're meh. I mean, I'm 30 some years old, dude. I've seen so much shit. Like there's the story is just basic story. I just and, don't think it's you, funny. And, and they're it's trying to be Rick it, and Morty so bad. That and they're doing episodic, so you know at the end of every episode too, like, okay, it's everything's gonna be normal again and well, that's that's okay. unfair. A lot of and, shows and all that. this and this and you know, it's at least in the Simpsons, they would like fucking kill someone off and then they would bring them back like five episodes later, some shit. <laughs> Well, especially after we all figured out who shot Mr. Burns. Am I right? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you Spoilers, it was Maggie. Really <gasps> watched the final season of Agents, by the way. they. Uh... I have not finished it. I will be finishing it. Um, I want, I need to, it needs to go somewhere so I can watch the whole thing. Oh, shit. Because yeah. uh, my cable a- company only has like episodes nine through the last one they didn't save all of them on there to watch i was like what the hell it's only 13 episodes how many have you seen i saw one (laughs) One. oh man Uh, so we're gonna go back and rewatch the whole thing they uh they they really took a page out of legends book this season yeah yeah oh you could tell that in the first episode that that's what they were going for um like yeah. they, I think they ended on a high note. I really do. Right. Okay. I hope it, it ended well. I'll I'll check it out. Um, it's one of those shows that, like, all the Marvel shit me and Nikki watch together, so it takes me longer to watch that stuff than other things. And the fact that we haven't been able to find it anywhere to watch the whole thing yet kind of sucks. So, John, you were so still for a second. I thought you were frozen. <laughs> sure. John, how late were you up last night? Um, uh, because you were like streaming nine. only nine. Yeah. Okay. I well, thought you were still good. streaming when I crashed. <sighs> um, but I'm good. I don't have anything else unless you guys got more. Unless we want to talk about biodome, because I'll talk about biodome. Some we oh talked about two other domes. I mean, I'll I'm talk about biodome. More domes. Sick of domes. What about? Did you guys ever watch Beyond the Dome? No. Oh. You guys should watch Beyond the Dome. I think so. It, I think it got three seasons. I have the first. Uh, I have the actual book it's based on. The first book. I didn't mm-hmm. pick up the second one that he wrote for it, but the. Uh, the book it's based on is really good, but the show is actually pretty compelling. I, I feel um, it's one of those shows I watched after it was all canceled again. Um, did you know that? Did you guys know that a dome is an architectural element similar to the hollow upper half of a sphere? There is also significant overlap with the term cupola. Do you mean which under may the also dome? refer under to the dome? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry, John. Didn't mean. Oh, that's fine. You. Domes with full sphere or half sphere frames are designed for climbing uh, plants. We create mm-hmm. wonderful climbing plants with dome architecture. All you need to do is plant climbing plants under the dome edges and the foliage of which will form an impressive and unique structure, which will change each year. All right. Good night, everybody. And now we learned everything about domes. There's Pacific domes, <laughs> geodesic I- domes, <laughs> vent domes, dwell domes. I, I am DB has domes. a uh, <laughs> fan domes, of, uh, thunder domes. I see a, a greenhouse dome. dome, playground domes, emergency relief domes. Ooh, ooh. What about? Here you go. Dome. In the Urban Dictionary, a blowjob. Head sucking on the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Isle of Dogs was in a dome. <laughs> Oh, Timus, that was perfectly timed, sir. <laughs> I love dogs as an adult. The Simpsons movie, I remember that. Simpsons movie was all a dome, yep. Uh, I just uh, watched that again. So, yeah. Um, Finn, Finn called Phasma Chrome Dome. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
that was that was cool. That happened in a Star Wars film. I just um, can't believe they uh-huh. have a list of dome related stuff on IMDb. You're welcome. I Annihilation, The Hunger Games, Dome. Yeah, that's in the dome, dome too. Yeah. Roswell, they had a dome. The Endless. The Divergent Divergent. series. Um, If you think about it, the Death Star was just two domes uh, put together at the middle. That was a sphere? Oh, yeah, sorry. (laughs) No, it's a half sphere. (laughs) It's two half spheres that were put together. Does that count? What? What? What was two half spheres? Don't worry about it. I lost it. Yeah, same. (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it I'm losing it guys going or did you end the show I, I did know, not end the show yet I feel like the show <laughs> ended forever ago we're just all still here <laughs> alright alright let's end the show then Okay. alright anyways guys anyways guys my <laughs> quote for the day comes from the Umbrella Academy season one. Oh, an umbrella not unlike a dome there you go <laughs> <laughs> it's a dome on a stick <laughs> This episode's so dome. <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. Uh-huh. Oof. Okay. Oh. Season season one of Umbrella Academy on Netflix, guys. Check it out. From The Handler. John, do you remember who The Handler is? I know. No, but I have so many inappropriate things about it. <laughs> okay. She was the old chick in the, or not oh, the yes. old chick, but the chick that ran the Time Bureau place. Yes. Or not ran it, but was part yeah, of it. Yeah, it was uh, Addison from uh, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. 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 Oh, All right. Here, her, here is her quote. My quote for the day. And then, Tivis, you get to find the sign off since Tivis is officially, people, a Tivis is officially. Tivis is an official Tivis. An official little person for Operation Babel. Congratulations. Right. Did you appreciate, Tivis, that Michael fucked that up so superior? It's like, just that? Uh. <laughs> what? Exactly. 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 <laughs> it's not so fucking easy, is it? <laughs> your, your tism, you are infecting me with your tism. <laughs> it's a virus. We are the virus. All right. Did you know the earth is essentially a full dome? <laughs> Two domes. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Ending of the podcast. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Season one of the Umbrella Academy <laughs> from The Handler. <clears throat> War. Such a fascinating concept. Con- fucking hell. Yay! Going again. The Handler. War, such a fascinating concept, a temporary cell for a permanent human flaw. That's, I mean, things are flawed. Not unlike certain domes that have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know, Tivis, congratulations on your promotion, sir. It was just a matter of time. Yeah, I'm waiting for the cannibals. Wait, the cannibals? Wait, what? what man what i don't oh no um i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to a dome all right bye the late, Jodic, Jodic, seasons aren't that bad no <laughs> io dome you just finished another great episode of Operation Babel. You can catch every episode of Operation Babel on all your audio streaming services, including SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Radio Public, and more. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Operation Babel. And join the conversation today by searching for the Operation Babel group on Facebook. Links also in the description. Don't forget to find Mike on all social platforms, including YouTube, by searching Mike Shrews, M-Y-K-E-S-H-R-E-W-S. You can find John on Instagram and YouTube via Bald Man Bad. Thanks, and have a great day.